The Multimedia Accordion Guide The reed block is the piece of wood on which the reeds are mounted. The cavity under the plate and inside the reed block is called the tone chamber. The tone chamber is important for an accordion stone fine adjustment. The reed plate tone chamber system is what we call a formant. The tone chamber acts on the reed just like the reed acts on the tone chamber. We must therefore consider the resonant frequency of this space in the design of an accordion. The material used to make the reed block has no influence on the sound. Indeed, the reed block does not amplify nor does it diffuse sound from the reeds even if it is able to transmit some energy to the soundboard in a small proportion which itself transmits very little energy to the accordion's body. Easy to work with, we choose wood for its workable qualities. Here is a video demonstration which proves us that the reed block does not transmit or amplify any sound from the reed. With this video, I will try to illustrate why the material used to make the reed block has little or no effect on the sound. The reed block does not amplify the sound produced by the reed. As proof, the tuning fork is not amplified when pressed against the reed block. But the reed block transmits the mechanical vibration of the tuning fork when it is brought into contact with an amplification surface. The reed has no mechanical energy unlike the tuning fork and therefore it has nothing to transmit to the amplification surface. Notice when I blow in the reed block. It's the same sound when the reed block is not in contact with the surface as when it is in contact with the surface unlike the tuning fork that has energy to transmit. The sound is produced inside the sound hole, not by the mechanical energy of the reed itself. Why does the reed have no energy? It's because it's not the mechanical source like the tuning fork. The reed is part of the whole plate reed sound holes system, and this is what we call a formant. The reed is only used to produce the pressure variation and the speed of air intake to produce sound. Now let us see why an aluminum reed block would be more efficient and produce a better sound than the usual wooden reed block. This is because all the elements that are part of the sound source must be securely fixed to avoid loss of energy. Therefore, an aluminum reed block would be more efficient in terms of sound because it is more rigid and stable than the wooden reed block. There would be a lesser loss of mechanical energy. Here is an animation to illustrate the movement of the plate in slow motion if it is not securely attached to the reed block. Even if I voluntarily exaggerated this movement for the sake of illustration, it still exists. It is in this movement of instability that the loss of energy takes place. This movement do occur in waxed reed plates, so the oscillations of the reed itself will lose momentum, thus producing a poorer sound with less harmonics or overtones. The Bayan accordion sound richer, like brighter, more overtone, more harmonics and so on, than the Italian accordion because of the multiple reeds united in a single long plate. The whole thing has more rigidity, so the reeds do their job without any disturbance or loss of energy. The reed blocks. The reed blocks have an angle to spread the top of the reed tongues so they do not come into contact when vibrating. Why do we sometimes see a bar 
connecting the top of the reed blocks. It's because even the reed blocks move with the movement of bigger reeds. Therefore, we use stabilizer bars that unite the top of the reed blocks together so the ensemble is more stable. Again, to stabilize the reed blocks, reed blocks bar are installed which mechanically unite the heads of the reed blocks. The weight of the reeds tend to move the top of the reed block which further results in loss of energy. The bar stabilizes the reed blocks between them and prevents this movement. Have you noticed the position of the black keys on one side and the white keys on the other in this piano accordion? We'll see why we use this layout later. Here is the position of the reed blocks in an accordion. As can be seen in this accordion crush section, the base reed block identified too is quite tilted. Letters under this reed block will tend to fall and warp when you hold the accordion on its feet. This is why it is better to store your accordion standing up on its side. In that position, all the letters will be kept sideways, thus won't tend to deform with time. Besides, you will find accordion carrying cases with feet on their side. For long-term storage, the accordion will be placed on the carrying case's side feet so that the accordion will rest standing up. Your accordion will be happier standing up. Now go and may the angel's voice come out of your accordion. (laughs) 